I also obviously bring the experience of being the firefighter and paramedic. And I know it's an odd experience, but I know what it's like to be on the other end of violence. Um, that cracker barrel, barrel shooting where that girl was shot. That was me that responded to that call. I know what it's like to take somebody's daughter in that's been shot in the face and try to keep her alive. And I'm also a criminal defense attorney, so I have both sides. When we look at culture and diversity, if you look at black, white, Hispanic, and if you look at it vertically, it looks like there's a big difference in, in our communities and, and representation. But there's one culture that most don't really uh, speak as much about, and that's if you look horizontally, and that is, and I said this before, and it was just almost exactly what you just said, the have and the have nots. And there is a serious problem in Cuyahoga County and across the nation with victims and witnesses being terrified to come into court because they're afraid that they're going to get retaliated against in the neighborhoods or from you know, individuals associated with the cases. And we have to balance it. It's a huge balancing act that we have to take. We have to you know, guarantee, obviously, every defendant is uh, absolutely innocent until proven guilty. Um, the victims also have the right to, to be heard and to come into court. And I think I do bring a depth that the other four candidates don't have. Um, and I think that that's underlooked in this uh, courthouse. I honestly do. Um, I don't think there's enough civil, civil litigators that step forward because of the loss of income or the other reasons. I'm doing this because I'm committed to um, not only uh, being a better at being an attorney and then a judge, but I'm also doing this because I think there's a need.